Good to go. All right, what's going on guys? Um, just started getting everything cleaned off with 70% rubbing alcohol. Um, so this makes sure we have a clear panel. There's not gonna be any contaminants on there, any dust, dirt, um, you know, anything that's gonna get in the way of the wrap. So after your piece sized up, um, if you're only by yourself, you're going to have to magnet onto the car with these magnets. They're cheap on Amazon. Um, definitely really helpful if you're wrapping alone. So starting a big piece like this, you're going to want to peel off an edge of it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, good. Just going to peel off an edge to get it started. You know, just kind of give it a little tack down. You're going to relift this anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it's creasing. You're going to get the backing paper all peeled. Then you put your magnets somewhere safe. Don't lose them. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to glass out the panel. Basically stretch from either side get the panel looking like glass basically no uh, no wrinkles no anything like that um, what I do for these older Fords is I usually glass it and then I'll squeegee the top because you have to squeegee it into the crease about I think right here well it's down even lower you gotta squeegee it into that crease down there so I just get the top laid top started kind of get everything moving. There you go, and you can stretch from the bottom. A nice glass. These trucks are really easy just because everything's so flat. There's not much stretching going on. Really anything you have to worry about. So definitely it's a great um, truck to kind of get your hands dirty and start wrapping and learn how to wrap. We're using Avery Denison on this truck, which is a very forgiving material. Um, it's definitely one of the best out there right now. As you can see, that shine looks phenomenal. Um, so we got two creases. We got crease up here and down here. So for this one, I'm going to loosen it up at the top. Kind of feed it right into there. When you stretch it into there, you're going to have probably bubbling issues down the road once this starts to sit out in the sun.
So now I'm getting ready to cut, uh, get everything finalized. Um, so for the top, I just get to use this nice rub rail that's already there as a guide and kind of follow that all the way down. If you don't have something like that, you can use um, knifeless tape. So then you'll have to cut on your vehicle. 